For the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be surviving in Alligator Alley with only this backpack full of survival gear that, well, I packed like seven months ago and haven't touched since. So, honestly, who knows what's in here, but it's gonna be very cool and there's gonna be a lot of alligators. Hopefully not at night under my sleeping bag. It's called a Playco. They overrun Florida. <laughs> no, dude. No. Oh my God, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, real quick, I forgot to mention that I want to make a deal with you guys. If we can get 6,969 likes, I will buy Amazon's most expensive survival bag. Things almost like 500 freaking dollars, and we will put it to the test as well. Remember, that's 6,969 likes. Well, we have officially made it here, folks, and you're not going to believe what we just saw in the parking lot. Probably one of the cooler items ever. So this is your, your setup here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a hand-built John Boat airboat. <laughs> Alright, it's for sale, so if any guys want it, contact Jerry. And if you want us to pull the trigger on it, let us know in the comment section below. But it is very freaking cool. We're gonna have Reef here, me there, you there. But it's all hand-built. It's really freaking epic. Uh, so yeah, that is just waiting at the boat ramp for us, but the whole action of today's video is inside this boat right here, and we are going to be doing the old backpack survival or survival backpack challenge, but it's really not a challenge, it's more of just kind of putting the backpack to the test. It's the one I built probably a year ago, and uh, we're just going to send it, but the water's super shallow, so we brought the jet boat, which as you guys know, has the old jet intake on it. It doesn't have a propeller, so... This thing goes super, super shallow. A lot of people are like, Brandon, it's just a John boat. Why are you calling it a jet boat? Well, it's got a jet intake on it. Bunch of air boats out there. So, Trav, we're either gonna get stuck on a sandbar or there's gonna be enough water for us to go. Uh, but either way, we've got like a, I'd say eight mile stretch of river to run. So, let's get this baby in the water. Let's party started. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, that's the first alligator of Alligator Alley and uh, <laughs> They get a lot bigger than that one. That one's about a seven footer. That's why they call this place Alligator Alley, folks. Alligator Alley now ahead of us is home sweet home or at least camp sick all right the very much awaited bag breakdown obviously right up front we've got the machete this thing is freaking huge and I think it's gonna come in handy tonight for firewood it, it's an axe this is an axe it's what an did axe. I call it machete what the hell's the difference between a machete and an axe? Machete's like a long way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. I was thinking hatchet. I was saying, yeah, you're right. This is not a machete. This is an axe. Thank you, Travis. My gosh, what an embarrassing freaking start. We've got our rumple blanket right here. We also have a abundance of like anchor rope. Again, I'm not really sure why, but you never know when you need rope. We might actually use it for the boat tonight. Dude, it's been a while since I've freaking seen this thing, bro. <laughs> and there's just stuff just thrown in here, bro. It's it's a mess. French press. Yeti mug. I'm not gonna lie, I did just throw this one in here because well, it's brand new. Water filtration system. Ready to eat meals. More ready to eat meals. Last ready to eat meal. Filet knife. Pyro putty. I forgot about this. I've never used this. This stuff is gonna be awesome, I hope. <laughs> Skillet, jet boil cooking items, random accessory cooking stuff, paracord, dude wipes, face wipes, and shower wipes, lighter, and a pocket towel. That is all for the main body. 
But down here at the bottom, there's a lower section, and this is where I put all of the sleeping gear. So in here, we have our jungle nest hammock. Now, I bought this so long ago that I've had this for two years because I bought it when I was gonna go to the big island of Hawaii. I brought this with me, never ended up using it, tossed it in the survival bag right after that. That shows you how old this stuff is. We've got the straps that go with it. Uh, we've got a little bit of night lights for it. We have an inflatable pillow, and then we have two rain flies here. I brought two. Um, I did pack an extra one because Travis is gonna be in a tent in a cot, nice and comfy, uh, while I'm out hanging in the trees. So, this is everything. I think everything. Oh, we've got this top side. Now, this is where your boy gets a little bit bougie. This is where I put the black rifle coffee and i think this one's the extra caffeinated one because well i don't drink i don't really smoke but i am completely 100 percent addicted to caffeine i love caffeine so much so this is everything right here this is all of our sleeping gear right here this is all of our food all of our cooking our coffee stuff right here basically all of our kitchen stuff uh, this is going to be all basically hygiene stuff right here. And then, of course, on the outside, we have our survival stuff. So the hatchet, the paracord, putty, and then the water filter. I wanted to lay it out like this so you guys could see just how much was in this bag. And honestly, there was a ton of room. But, uh, you know, on the drive here, we had kind of a fun idea. Travis and I were talking. We were like, man, how cool would it be to build a survival bag with you guys' comments? So drop your comments. We're gonna pick a bunch of items that you guys pick out. Now, they could be super helpful, like, I don't know, a fire starter, or they could be super funny, and I will leave that up to you. So leave your comments in the comment section below. Leave as many as you want because you already know the algorithm loves comments. So help your boy out, drop some comments, but in a video coming soon, we will use all of your comments. We'll pin them up on the screen. So if you drop a good idea and we use it, we'll put you on the screen as well as your item. So it could be a lot of fun. Make sure to drop those comments. Now, with that being said, we've got all this stuff laid out. First things first, we gotta build a shelter. Your boys freaking dialed and check it out the boats right down there a little bit of a look at mine i am gonna be way up in the trees but i get to overlook the water which is gonna be really really nice now i know when we were driving in here a lot of you guys probably saw the yellow bucket all that stuff that is because we are hooking up cameraman trav with well just a comfortable night's rest because I'm not gonna make him freaking, <laughs> freaking have the backpack life. He's got the life of luxury. He's got a really nice tent set up here and then he has the actual cot. So he's gonna be off the ground. He's got a really nice sleeping bag and then a big pillow. So Trav is gonna be completely set up. I'm gonna be up in the trees with the raccoons. Now I will say Travis is down there on the ground, old gator ground. So they don't call this alligator alley for no reason. All right, well, we have made it to this huge sandbar flat, and this place is tidal, so the water's actually going down here. And right up here, there's this really beautiful creek that goes back. There are gonna be some fish that are tucked back here and holding in some of this deep water. So as long as I can get around some of this, we should be good. Also, going straight barefoot, got the dogs out, and we're on a friggin' mission. There's some placos right here. Again, it's gonna be catfish bait, so we can use these later. All right, one just took off. We do have an opportunity right here at one. Let's see. I think I got him. The others took off. Also gotta be careful of gators. Oh yeah, we got him, baby. We got him. I don't want a lot of splashing though. Come on, come on, come on. Well, we got some more catfish bait. <laughs> Not necessarily what we were going after, but look, anything we can get to help us, we're gonna take. And on my walk over here, 
Trav and I both turn because there was a giant blow up behind us. So I think it's either a big snook or some big bass, but either way, we can eat the bass. So I think it's time to pick up the rods and reels. Look at that guy, freaking dinosaur. <sighs> Bigger deal, Mighty. How can I help you, buddy? Is this Jigga Jordan? This is Jigga Jordan. Hey, Jigga. Been a big fan for the past five years. I found your number on the internet. Hopefully that's cool. <laughs> hey, um, we're having a little family get together. I'd love to have you down here. Um, does that mean I'm family? You want to come? Well, does that mean I'm family if you're inviting me to the family get together? Well, you, well, you, have, you have to be here, kind of thing. Right. Um, but if I show up, does that mean I'm family? Well, you got to bring food and then your family. Okay. Well, hey, man, I'm, I might I might catch a fish right now and I'll catch and cook it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean, you, you, you bring 10 million subscribers yet or what? 10 million? Yeah, 10 million. Where you at? No, I'm I'm real humble, dude. I'm just sitting down there at three. I'm just trying to be no. humble. Well, tell them, tell them to subscribe. Maybe they forgot. I've been yeah. telling them for years, bro. They don't listen. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want? I mean, listen, subscribe to Jigga Jordan. We need to hit... 10 million subscribers to get that diamond play button, the ultimate treasure. <laughs> we need every one of us to have a diamond play button. I've got one. You need one. You're right there. You're 30% there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only 7 million, sub 7 million subscribers away, buddy. No worries. Uh, I won't keep you, but uh, you coming to hang out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll figure it out, but uh, I guess I'll see you Thursday. All right, buddy. I'll see you. I'll see you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Jacob and uh yeah you don't have to subscribe it would be dope i don't think we'll ever hit 10 million but i'm hopeful i never thought we'd hit 3 million i honestly never thought we'd get 100,000 subs so i'm grateful for everything but that does mean how's my double trend <laughs> that does mean we're gonna be filming with jacob after this so if you guys like these videos you're gonna love the ones we're doing next because they're well I'm not saying this one's not epic, but the next ones are really epic. There's a monster. Oh gosh, he went in trap. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking Goliath, bro. High capacity gravity filter, four liters. All right, so we have our dirty bag that goes to our gravity filter that then flows down to our clean water. <laughs> no, dude. No. This one's up. All right, now mind you, this bag looks disgusting. I mean, it is. It is disgusting. It honestly looks like a bag of urine. It's going. It's going. It's, it's already going. There's absolutely no way this works. Let's leave this. We'll come back. I mean, it's going fast, dude. It's going fast. Well, it looks like uh, pyro putty comes in a bunch of different colors. So, kind of like this green. We're gonna go with that. Whoa, I was not expecting that, dude. I don't know what, oh, that's, that's gross, dude. That's not putty at all. That's like what the end of your Q-tip would look like after just months of not cleaning your ears, bro. Competition charcoal lighter. What the hell did I buy? Oh, this is charcoal lighter. Ultra light blend. Wait, what? Stove and fire pit. Oh, this one is the stove and fire pit blend. No wonder. That looks like putty. That looks a little more like putty. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't like that. It's like hair, bro. Uh. I mean, it's on fire. That's on fire. It's burning, dude. It's doing well. I'm impressed. I mean, it lights quick. It lights quick, dude. Okay, pyro putty approved. And we have like five cans of that stuff. I don't know why there's different flavors or different uses, but that is pretty cool. That lit that very quickly. I mean, that's, that's we got a fire. We're done. <laughs> we, do, we throw palmettos on this, it's wraps. Huh? <laughs> oh, 
our clean bag. Do I think it's clean? No, we're gonna be boiling this water. So I think it's purified enough. It didn't take the coloration out of it, which is freaking sketch. Oh, we're squirting, we're squirting. There's no particles, which is making me happy. But it looks really clean like this, but it is getting kind of, it's getting kind of brown in the bottom of the jet wool here. Take a gander in there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, we are going, but when these black stripes turn red, that means the cup has reached its boiling point and the water is technically ready. Well, we're hanging out at the house. <laughs> we're freaking up here, boys. This is one heck of a spot up here. And look at my view. Got the boat down there. It's gonna be my view all night long. And our chili mac is officially done. I should not have mixed hot sauce with river water because now I won't know which one tore up my stomach. It could be the hot sauce, it could be the river water. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad I brought those freaking dude wipes. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. I will let you know. I will keep you completely updated. Uh -huh. Mm. And if this does go south and it doesn't hit me until after this video, you guys can follow me on Instagram. It's Jiggle and Jordan. It's got the blue check, just like YouTube. And uh, I will update you via my stories there. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot express to you how awesome this is in here. Also, we got a little trick up our sleeves we set up earlier. Might be able to get to it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Wow, dude. Magic. Magic in here, dude. It's so peaceful. Oh my goodness, man. Got the little light set up. Dude, I am just comfy as can absolutely be in here oh my goodness man this is incredible there's not even any bugs i didn't even need the bug shield or the jungle net but i'm glad i got it i'm glad i got i got my freaking waffle top on tonight cover up the old ears be perfect i have the weatherproof jacket not even gonna need it dude just a nice chill relax I mean, you can't really tell, but the boat's over there. So we're freaking dialed in. And, uh, you know, we got the firepower up here. So we're freaking good. We're locked in. We're dialed. Travis, you can't see him. You can't see him, but he's glowing over there in his tent. So he's good. But what a great day. This is my favorite part by far. I love this so much. And, uh, yeah. And, let me get some rest. We've got the fire over there. You guys can't see anything because the flash is on the screen, but trust me, the fire's over there. I can kind of see it. But uh, yeah, see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. I'm going to sleep. It's so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, dude. might be some of the best sleep I ever got. Here we are. Good morning. Friggin' made it. This was the best sleep ever. Last night was epic, man. Snook just Boom, boom, blowing up bait. The, there was no moon last night. Like I was just not expecting the fish to eat. There was no moon last night. There's woodpeckers just don't, 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 don't this morning. Hogs rooting up around last night. Poor Travis, he's on the freaking ground. I slept like a baby, dude. I don't know what it is. If it's just like some primitive 
feel good or if it's just so ergonomic to the body but man this is like it feels like this is where i'm supposed to be dude i know that sounds weird but it just feels so freaking good in here good morning to you all folks my goodness we freaking made it and uh wow this cup i'm not gonna lie dude this is a freaking good cup right here 40 something degrees this morning i slept up there last night it was freaking epic there was one point where a stick fell on the uh rain fly up there i thought it was a squirrel i thought it was straight coming for me the old river water coffee the old river water dinner last night they didn't do me wrong still don't know what the side effects are that is gonna be but for right now we're good essentially the whole video is about the backpack now what did i think about the backpack it's cool i think we bring a ton of gear a lot and i think this showed we could still bring a lot in a little package so mission success i think so unfortunately we didn't catch a bunch of fish i wanted to do that for you guys it just didn't happen but we're gonna finish this cup of coffee we're gonna pack up camp and we're gonna get on out of here but remember 6969 likes and we will buy amazon's most expensive survival bag it's like 500 bucks we will take it out and do the same thing is it better is it worse than what i brought who knows 6969 likes you can find out also do not forget to comment in the comment section below some items, some survival items, because we want to build a subscriber-based survival bag. So, I mean, you guys could give me some really cool items or you could completely screw me and just say some of the worst stuff ever. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have a feeling of what some of those comments are gonna look like. I know you guys, you want me to live that brutal life bad. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, we will catch you on the next adventure. I keep forgetting the outros, man. I forget. I kiss you guys now. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah. Uh oh. Yeah. Huh? Oh. My boat? It's flown away? What the f***? All right. Oh my God. Thank you, Travis. Good call. Wow. We almost lost our friggin' boat. Uh, Jesus. The water did come up a lot. Holy crap, dude. Whew. Almost lost our boat. That's where this guy's gonna come into play. 